Hi, I'm Josh Ackman in the Customer Service Department at Park Industries. And on this video, we are gonna show you how to do a blade offset calibration on a Sabre Jet XP. Um, this will be the same concept also on the Voyager here. So we just did a safe lineup and we do have a piece, a remnant piece laying on our table. Um, we do recommend using like a 36 by 36 if you're doing this, especially if you're doing a TPC square after this. Um, just to make sure you have enough material room there that you don't get any movement out of that material while you're cutting. So come over and to start out with here, we drive our saw exactly where we want the cut to be made for the blade offset cut. I'm just going to go kind of in the back side here on this piece. So I'll make sure I'm lining up right where I want it to cut. So that looks good. That's where I want that to cut. Now we're going to come back to our screen here. And on the Sabrejet XP, um, this should be very similar to the Voyager also, but I click the Setup tab, and then I'm in Machine Setup, and in the bottom right corner here, I'm gonna just hit Perform Test Cut, and we'll let the machine start cutting. Just hit yes to confirm. Make sure my water and everything's on. Pendant is also active right now. I need to disable that. And now it will perform that test cut. Okay, now once that test cut is performed, we can move our machine out of the way here. piece here and we're going to take our calibration square or our uh, caliber here make sure that we're zeroed out and we, uh, rinse this piece off. We're just going to take our caliber here and take a measurement of what we have. And if the camera's picking that up, we have 0.984. I like to personally write everything on here to make sure. Four. It's a little wet yet. Um, but now we'll come to our screen here. And you can see we changed about four thousandths of an inch here. Nine, eight, four. And then that's our blade test cuts. So the first thing I'm going to do here is come on to one of my overcut lines here. Take my caliber, make sure it's zeroed out. And I'm going to just measure the curve for my blade. 
It looks like this blade of ours is 0.144. Go back to our setup tab and machine setup tab and our curve is a little wider here. So we're going to change that. 144. So if you have a Voyager, you would be done now. Um, we'll have another video here on how to run a TPC square. Um, if you're, if you are over a one, so it's one point something, more than likely your machine is out of calibration and we need to do a full dial on the machine offsets here. So if it, if it is over one, you should look at doing a full dial with the offsets. Otherwise, if you're at a 0.9, something in there, then um, that should be good and you should be able to keep going. And our next video should show how to do a TPC square and we'll walk through the steps on how to do that. Thank you. And as always, if you have questions, give us a call at our customer service department and let us know. Thank you.